An encyclical was originally a circular letter sent to all the churches of a particular area in the ancient Roman Church. At that time, the word could be used for a letter sent out by any bishop. The word comes from late Latin encyclios from Latin encyclus, a Latinization of Greek enkyklios enkyklios meaning circular, in a circle, or all round, also part of the origin of the word encyclopedia. The term has been used by Catholics, Anglicans and the Eastern Orthodox. Topic: Catholic usage. Although the term encyclical originally simply meant a circulating letter, it acquired a more specific meaning within the context of the Catholic Church. In 1740, Pope Benedict XIV wrote a letter titled Ubi Primum, which is generally regarded as the first encyclical in a modern sense. The term is now used almost exclusively for a kind of letter sent out by the Pope. For the modern Roman Catholic Church, a papal encyclical is a specific category of papal document, a kind of letter concerning Catholic doctrine, sent by the Pope and usually addressed especially to patriarchs, primates, archbishops and bishops who are in communion with the Holy See. The form of the address can vary widely, and may concern bishops in a particular area, or designate a wider audience. Papal encyclicals usually take the form of a papal brief due to their more personal nature as opposed to the formal papal bull. They are usually written in Latin and, like all papal documents, the title of the encyclical is usually taken from its first few words its incipit. Papal use of encyclicals Within Catholicism in recent times, an encyclical is generally used for significant issues and is second in importance only to the highest ranking document now issued by popes, an apostolic constitution. However, the designation, encyclical, does not always denote such a degree of significance. The archives at the Vatican website currently classify certain early encyclicals as apostolic exhortations, a term generally applied to a type of document with a broader audience than the bishops alone. Pope Pius XII held that papal encyclicals, even when they are not of ordinary magisterium, can nonetheless be sufficiently authoritative to end theological debate on a particular question. It is not to be thought that what is set down in encyclical letters does not demand assent in itself, because in this the popes do not exercise the supreme power of their magisterium. For these matters are taught by the ordinary magisterium, regarding which the following is pertinent, "...he who heareth you, heareth me." Luke chapter 10 verse 16 and usually what is set forth and inculcated in encyclical letters already pertains to catholic doctrine but if the supreme pontiffs in their acts after due consideration express an opinion on a hitherto controversial matter it is clear to all that this matter according to the mind and will of the same pontiffs cannot any longer be considered a question of free discussion among theologians encyclicals indicate high papal priority for an issue at a given time Pontiffs define when, and under which circumstances, encyclicals should be issued. They may choose to issue an apostolic constitution, bull, encyclical, apostolic letter or give a papal speech. Popes have differed on the use of encyclicals, on the issue of birth control and contraception. Pope Pius XI issued the encyclical Casti Canubi, while Pope Pius XII gave a speech to midwives and the medical profession, clarifying the position of the Church on the issue. Pope Paul VI published an encyclical Humanae Vitae on the same topic. 
On matters of war and peace, Pope Pius XII issued ten encyclicals, mostly after 1945, three of them protesting the Soviet invasion of Hungary in order to crack down on the Hungarian Revolution in 1956, Datus Nuperim, Certum Laetitiae and Luctuosissimi Aventus. Pope Paul VI spoke about the war in Vietnam and Pope John Paul II, issued a protest against the war in Iraq using the medium of speeches. On social issues, Pope Leo XIII promulgated Rerum Novarum 1891, which was followed by Quadragesimo Anno 1931 of Pius XI and Centesimus Annus of John Paul II. Pius XII spoke on the same topic to a consistory of cardinals, in his Christmas messages and to numerous academic and professional associations. <laughs> Modern encyclicals by Pope Anglican <laughs> usage <laughs> 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 Amongst Anglicans the term encyclical was revived in the late 19th century. It is applied to circular letters issued by the English primates. <laughs> Important Anglican encyclicals Sapius Officio in response to the papal bull Apostolicae Curae denying validity of Anglican orders. <laughs> Important Eastern Orthodox encyclicals Encyclical of the Eastern Patriarchs 1848. Patriarchal Encyclical of 1895 Patriarchal Encyclical of 1920 Patriarchal Encyclical of 2012 Notes Sources Acta Apostolicae Sedis, AAS, Rome and Vatican City State, 1920–2007 The Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church, 3rd, ed. p. 545 External links List of papal documents at the Theology Library Papal encyclicals at G. Catholic www.papalencyclicals.net, a source for e-texts of most of the encyclicals from recent centuries.